Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I divide positive and negative fractions and mixed numbers? So to divide fractions and mixed numbers, the first thing we need to do is convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions because that will make it easier to divide. And then make sure you are following integer rules when you're dividing. You can use this Mickey Mouse over here to help you remind yourself of the integer rules. So for example, if you have a negative times a negative, that means you'll have a positive answer. And if you have a negative times a positive, that means you'll have a negative answer. And then to divide, we will multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction because dividing is the opposite of multiplying. So we're gonna multiply by the opposite or reciprocal. This can be done by following these steps. Keep the first fraction the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. Then we will cross simplify and multiply the fraction as usual and make sure that our fraction is in simplest form. So let's start with number one. I have a mixed number that I need to convert to an improper fraction. So two times three is six plus two is eight. So that's gonna change to eight thirds divided by one seventh. And then dividing is the opposite of multiplying. So I'm going to multiply by the opposite instead of dividing. So I'm gonna do that by keeping the eight thirds the same, changing the division to multiplication and flipping the second fraction to seven over one. And then it does not look like there's any cross simplifying that can happen here. Eight and one don't have any common factors and neither do seven or three. So it's going to stay eight over three times seven over one. And I just multiply across eight times seven is 56 and then 56 or three times one is three. And now I just change this to a mixed number. Three can go into 56. 18 times and 18 times three is 54. And then I subtract and I get a remainder of two. So 56 over three converts to 18 and two thirds. All right, let's look at number two. I have a negative divided by a positive, so that means I'm gonna have a negative answer. And then I have a fraction divided by a mixed number, so let's go ahead and convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. So the negative 11 over 18 will stay the same. And then one times six is six plus five is 11. Okay, then dividing is the same as multiplying by the opposite, so I'm going to accomplish that by keeping the first fraction the same, changing the division to multiplication, and flipping the second fraction. And now I'm gonna cross simplify before I multiply across. The negative 11 and 11 will reduce to negative one and one, and then six and eight, ha six and 18 have a common factor of six, so the six will reduce to a one, and the 18 will reduce to a three. So this ends up being negative one third times one over one, or just negative one third. Okay, number three, I have a positive divided by a negative, so that means I will end up with a negative answer. And I'm going to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. So three times five is 15 plus two is 17. And then divided by, I'm gonna change this negative six to a negative six over one so that when I take the reciprocal, it's easier. So now I'm going to keep the 17 over three the same, change the division to multiplication and flip that second fraction to negative one sixth. And now I'm gonna see if there's anything I can cross multiply, which there's not three and negative one do not have a common factor and neither do 17 and six. So now I'm just going to multiply across. And 17 times negative one is negative 17 and three times six is 18. Okay, number four, I have a mixed number divided by a mixed number. And it's a positive divided by a negative, so that means I'm gonna have a negative answer. 
And now let's convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So five times two is 10 plus four is 14. Eight times two is 16 plus five is 21. Okay, now I want to cross simplify, which the five and negative 21, I cannot do anything, but the 14 and eight are both, oh, I forgot something. Before we cross simplify, we need to change this to a multiplication problem. Remember, dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the opposite or the reciprocal. So I'm going to keep the 14 over five the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction to negative eight over 21. Okay, now I can cross simplify. So the five and negative eight do not have anything in common, but the 14 and 21 do. Those are both divisible by seven, so I can reduce those to a two and a three. And now it will become two fifths times negative eight over three. And then I multiply across two times negative eight is negative 16, and then five times three is 15. And then I just need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. So 15 can go into 16 one time, and then I'm left with a remainder of one. So the final answer is a mixed number is negative one and one fifteenth. All right, number five, I have a negative divided by a positive, so that means I'm going to end up with a negative answer. And then I have two mixed numbers here, so let's convert them to improper fractions. So seven times three is 21 plus two is 23. And then 14 times two is 28, 28 plus three is 31. Okay, now I have a division of fractions. I want to change that to multiplying by the opposite. So I'm gonna keep the negative 23 over seven the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. Now I'm going to cross multiply. Seven and 14 have a common factor of seven, so that'll simplify to one and two. And then I'm gonna multiply across negative 23 times two is negative 60 or negative 46. And then one times 31 is 31. And then the last thing that I can do is divide and convert it to a mixed number. So 31 goes into 46 one time and I'm left with 15. So the final answer is negative one and 15 over 31. All right, number six, a food truck is selling hamburgers for a holiday weekend. A total of 27 and three fourths pounds of hamburger has been ordered. How many one fourth pound hamburgers can this make? So they are going to take their 27 and three fourths pounds of hamburger, and they are going to make one fourth pound hamburgers. So we need to do 27 and three fourths divided by one fourth. So the first thing that I need to do is change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So I need to do 27 times four plus three. Let me work out 27 times four, four times seven is 28, four times two is eight plus two is 10. So 108 plus three is 111, and then we're gonna divide it by one fourth. Okay, now I'm dividing two fractions, so I'm gonna change that to multiplying by the opposite. So I'm gonna keep the 111 over four the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. And now I can cross simplify the four and four to one and one. So I end up getting 111 over one times one over one, or 111. So that means they can make 111 hamburgers.